When installing any brickwork, the best thing you can do is get the footings exactly level. On this project, we're installing a dwarf wall for a greenhouse. This requires 450 by 500 millimeter footings reinforced with rebar, totaling four and a half cubic meters of concrete. As only one engineering course will sit below ground level, there won't be any play in a brickwork if the footings aren't exactly correct. To measure the bottom of the footings, we're going off a ground level and allowing for an 80 millimeter brick course. This gives a total depth of 580 millimeters. The greenhouse consists of a double skin wall for the main building and a single skin wall for the cold frame. The dwarf wall will be nine courses high and the rest of the greenhouse made of aluminium and glass. Roofing battens are installed to mark the exact finish level of the footing. A spirit level is used to take the level across and it also gives the spacing in between pegs. On larger sites, a rotary laser level can be used to set the heights. The batten is only knocked into the ground 50 millimetres to allow it to be easily removed once the footing is poured. When the ready mixed concrete arrives on site, there's a time limit for it to be wheelbarrowed in. Having the pegs in place gives visual datum points of how much more is needed and where the finished levels are. They also speed up the levelling and keep the entire footing accurate all the way around. This method is particularly useful for garden walls that require footings to step down across their lengths. On this project we're installing two rows of rebar centrally after the first and second layers of concrete. All steels are kept 100mm from the edges of the footings to prevent moisture eroding them. If you're installing rebar or mesh prior to pouring, don't attach them to the battens. Once completely full, the footings can be tamped off with a straight edge, using the pegs to get an exact level. At this point, any low points can be topped up, leaving the pegs exactly flush. Finishing the concrete with a brush smooths out the surface while leaving the textured finish for the bricks to bond to. After a few minutes of settling, all the pegs become visible. Using pliers to grip the tops, each batten can be removed, counting out each one individually, making sure none remain as a weakness in the concrete. By wobbling each peg as it's removed, no void will be left behind, leaving a solid footing. Job done.